sound check questions, I'll show you. They're down in the hallway. Say hi, guys. <laughs> we have a Lunas in the house. Hello. Can you see that? Can you see yeah, each other? Yeah, I can see. All right. You guys want to have a seat? Yeah, Al, you want to sit on my lap? No, I'm okay. Do you want me to, um, you, would you guys like to both sit here? We can share. We can share. Uh, no, no, you're good. Sit down. We can share a chair. We'll both sit down. Okay, Ollie? Yes. And Barack? Yeah, Barack. Barack. Yeah. How do you spell it? Uh, B-A-R-A-K. Okay. Ollie and Barack from the Lunas, everybody. Hello, I hello. Show you their really cool um, business card. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Very light bulb. Yeah. And when you, um, okay, you have to like push it and then you push it down and it glows in the dark. But oh. you probably can't see it. It's the Lunas. Yeah, it's hard to see in the daytime. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, but it was the inspiration for these candles. Oh, so that's awesome. I'm making candles, and if you donate to Radio Venice today, you'll get a candle made for you. Ooh. So you just have in there battery operated. A pop rock candle. You can't really see in the light. All right. Anyhow, back to you guys. So how did you come to your band, Aluna? So you guys probably want to look in there so you okay. can talk to them, mm -hmm. even though I, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you come up with the name for your band? Um, I like the uh, I like the word Luna. I like things related to the moon. So it was a I, bit of a lunatic too. So. Yeah, I'm okay. a lunatic. So I, it it drove me down a, a wormhole until I found the word Lunas, which means without moonlight. So I think music brings light. So we like to bring the light, as we say. So made it correlated to the Luna, a Lunas. So wait, did you say Lunas means without light? Without moonlight. Without moonlight. Yeah. Um, did you know that the word lunatic is derived from the word luna? Which means moon. Which has to do with the so moon. So, Ian Lunas means without moon. Luna. Okay, so yeah. that's the Latin root. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Very cool. Okay, so you just, you like the light of the moon to be brought. Yeah. Wait. So, <laughs> <laughs> we, bring, we bring the light, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't, we try not to it's a little confusing. It. Uh, but it's, it's just a pretty word. word. I think it, it falls off the side. It's a little confusing. Oh, cool. I got yes. sidetracked. Sorry, y'all. Hello! Hello. Hello. How are you guys? How are you? How are you? How are you? Yeah. What's up? How Over there. Doing? Good. Hi. How are you? Hey, how are you? First rock. Not good. Like very much to stay over here, but cool. All right. So, where did we go? Okay. So, and, um, we'll just. Where were you born and raised? <laughs> we'll just skip right on through the moonlight. It's confusing because the moonlight is the sunlight is the moon. Yeah. And to not have moonlight would technically mean not to have sunlight. But I mean, unless there really is a light bulb in the center of the moon. <laughs> I guess that's you guys, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. something like that. See? I guess we should go play on the moon to light yeah. up the moon, huh? So you both are sporting some great hats and glasses. I love uh, that. Thank you. Thank you. They're thank stunning. You. We've got some Ray Bans, I see. Yeah. Some classic yeah. round, round gold round rims with the tinted green and the felt hats. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're sponsored by Hackham. They call it Gorn Brothers. So shout out to Gorn Brothers. Thank you for making this look good. And how do you Check spell? Them out. Yes. How do you spell Gorn? It's a G O O R I N. They make hats on websites. They have some, some stores. So. Find your local store near you. Yeah, right? Absolutely. They're yeah. beautiful, stunning hats. Thank you. Yeah, you, have, you have great taste. <laughs> oh, you guys have a great sponsor. Uh. <laughs> Go Warren. <laughs> um, and while you're there. So, yeah, lovely. I love it. It's nice. Okay, thank you. Um, um, oh, and, um, uh, well, okay. Well, since it's Father's Day, <laughs> yeah, it would you like to share one of your favorite Father's Day memories? And just, I think these guys want to. Father's Day you. memories. Something that happened on Father's Day? No, I mean, <laughs> for Father's Day, would you share oh, a memory yes. about you and. I got an father. awesome memory. Oh, great. So we moved from Florida to California. Florida to California. And so it was me, my mom, and my sister, we moved. 
and I didn't know what was going to happen to my dad. I was maybe like six years old, seven years old. Then one day, when it was, this was in Valencia, California. So I haven't seen my dad in maybe like a month, you know, and I was wondering where my dad was, you know, I mean, being a kid, I didn't know. Then I walked outside of my apartment and I see this humongous U-Haul truck, like, like it just, it was just big. Well, for me, it was big. Now, it's, yeah, you were you know, tiny. I was tiny. I was a tiny little guy. And coming out of the truck was my dad, and Aww. that was one of the best experiences. I miss my dad a lot. You know, I haven't seen him for a month, so that was a very good memory that I have. Aww, that's lovely. Shout out to your Shout dad. out to Moshe. Aww, Moshe Levy. Nice. And yeah. Ali, what about you? Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I have lots of memories. I'm trying to think of one, but. Um, my dad's very witty, but one, one funny memory I always remember is we were driving one time, I think in Santa Barbara, and uh, we, out of all cars to bump into, we had literally the Batmobile in front of us. Oh, no way. <laughs> the Batmobile. <laughs> like Michael Keaton's Batmobile. Right what? in front of driving us. Driving on the highway with so a real cool. car? Right in front of us. <laughs> and um, we, we followed it for a little bit, and I think I was just cracking up because my dad was threatening to just freaking rewrite all right. the whole time. <laughs> what were you guys driving? We were driving like a probably a Volvo at the time, right, you know. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, just, you know, they bumped into the Batmobile at all times. Nice. But, yeah. Imagine getting into you know an insurance uh, situation with that car. What car know? did you hit? We have either insured or not insured. The Batmobile. Brain Enterprises and shit though. Oh well, since we were just talking about the Batmobile, yeah. If you could be a superhero, what would you be and why? Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine. Why? Why Wolverine? Yeah. Adamantium claws. Pretty much, I mean, he he's lived for like 300 years. Uh, healing capabilities. Uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. And he's just buff all the time. I think it's just from his powers. So, yeah. And he, he's all furry. Yeah, he's all furry too. Yeah, I can relate a little bit, you know, I've got some hair in my... Uh, I guess I'm part Wolverine without the superhero. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice, thank over, you. Over you, Al, what superhero would you want to be? I just want to be Superman because he can fly. Uh, so Smokey wanted to be yeah. Superman too. He's like, ah, what's wrong with Superman? <laughs> he can fly. He can fly. No, I love Superman. So what is it for you the most about Superman? I don't know. I really liked the uh, Christopher Reeve Superman's growing up as a kid. Um, and uh, he was my favorite Superman. So something about how he's a good role model. You know, he's a good, good standing citizen, never does anything wrong. Never lies. Yeah. We can all learn from that. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, and he has x ray power, so he's pretty good. Cool. Yeah. See through walls. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, see through anything, actually. That's <laughs> um, okay, great, thank you. What was the um, first album that you purchased? Or, I guess. Mm. First album that I ever got or that I. That or I got, ever. yeah. Or listened to. What was the. For me, it was a, it was an accident, but it ended up turning out to be No Doubt. Gwen Stefani's No Doubt. Nice, mm, I love yeah, her. yeah, she's great. And so, um, someone recommended it to me, even though it was the wrong artist. <laughs> <laughs> and I listened to it, and, and, and yeah, it stuck with me ever since. Sweet. The singles or whatever it was, my their greatest hits album. So I got a little bit of everything. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, that's for, a good one. Yeah, that is actually a good one. <laughs> uh, First album, at least I can remember ever getting, was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by John Williams. So that one, I love the movie, I love the music, I love soundtracks, so wow. that was a big one. That's impressive, but, uh, John Williams. First rock album was Summer Back in Time, 80 through 89, Iron Maiden Greatest Hits. <laughs> that, one, that one was great, John. Nice. Wow, those are some good albums. John yeah. Williams, huh? He's the guy that did the Star Wars for those of you who didn't know. Oh, da, yeah. Da, da, yeah. Da, da. yeah, exactly. <laughs> or Jaws too, also. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. And Superman, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I think that's yeah. time to break out some, some of the... Classics. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Score. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. Most <laughs> definitely. Um, okay, well, on that note, would you share with us three of your musical influences? Oh. Mm. That thing's on there pretty tight, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I love the Eagles. Um, nice. I, I love Queen as well. Yeah. And the third band, 
I do like Iron Maiden. They all they all have really good vocalists. So. Uh, yes, you guys are professional vocalists. Uh, try to be. <laughs> They're beautiful. We you that. I'm, you guys are gonna have a great show. Okay. Thank you. So wait, can you just backtrack? I got sidetracked. Yeah. We've got Iron Maiden, Brent Stefani, but that was the first album. Who are your other other? Well, it was, it was Iron Maiden, the Eagles, and I oh, like and I like Queen. And Queen. Yeah. Oh, that's right, the vocalist. Beautiful. Yeah. What yeah. About For you? me, it was uh, Avenged Sevenfold. Got to give them a shout out, of course. The Beatles, you know, classic, and then. Uh, we could say Muse or My Chemical Romance. Like, nice. Yeah. I love Muse too. Great. I'm excited for the new album. So. Oh, they have a new album coming out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I guess you guys, do you have an album coming out? We have an EP coming out soon. Oh, We're in the good. process yeah, of recording right now. Nice. Nice. Where are you recording? Total access recording. Yeah. Where's that? Redondo Beach. So considering where we live, it's quite some ways. But uh, we're working with uh, producer Steve Ornes. He's a great guy, and uh, it's you know making our trip worthwhile. Love you, Steve. Aww. Yeah. How sweet. Lovely. Good. I look forward to it. I'm glad to hear you guys are working in the studio. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, on that note, what was the most fun thing you guys did together? What? 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 Yeah. What just happened right there? Wait, wait. The first song you learned to sing. Both of oh, oh. Like, what was your first song that you learned to sing? Uh, I, I'm not a singer. I remember the first guitar thing I learned. Oh, yeah? Because I, I, I was, I, I don't sing. Okay. So, so uh, the solo, no, no. The intro to Welcome to the Jungle was, like, the first thing I learned. Okay. And that one was definitely, like. How old were you when you learned? 13 years old. Gotta be around that time. That's when I first picked up the guitar. And what inspired you to pick up the guitar? Um, so my mom, my mom, uh, my grandpa, my uncle, my great grandpa, they all play the guitar. And oh. so pretty That's much a guitar, family. The guitar family. And then my, my dad plays the trumpet and my grandma on my dad's side plays the piano too. So oh, then I think wow. this music was just bound to happen eventually. Wow. That's everybody in the family. Wow. Yeah. Well, what got you into so, singing? I don't know. Um, I grew up in another country, so I, I actually grew up singing some other kind of music. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Iran, so I came here when I was three years old. Okay. And uh, I would say I really like the movie Titanic. Yeah. And so I think one of the songs I learned was the Celine Dion song, uh, My Heart Will Go On, when I was uh, a little bit younger. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, it was, it was a good wow. song. That's a good song. I mean, do you still know how it goes? Yeah, I do. I mean, I haven't sang it in years, but I can play it on the recorder. You know how it goes. You play the movie like almost every day at that. Oh really? <laughs> I have a tattoo. I have a tattoo. Oh really? I do. So would, can we hear a little belt of the? I, I would love to see. Yeah, you got some. Yeah, oh, it's, it's hard to not see. in your boots. No, He's it's... got some style and boots on down here too. I can't... It's the. It's a picture that she draw or he draws. Now hold on, I gotta really re undo this here. Sorry, everybody. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, sorry, everybody. Here we are. Can you see that? Wow, that's the Titanic. <laughs> cool. And the style of boots by. There we go. My jaw socks got to rep the jaws. Oh, right. oh my God, that's unbelievable. We were talking about that. Did you guys know that? Can I just ask you one more question before we go in? Yeah. Can yes. you see yourself? Yes. Thank okay. You. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to share? No. Thanks for the interview. You, you asked some good questions. Do you and guys our, have uh, any like? We're, we're happy for uh, Michael to invite us for uh, Radio Venice. We know some great artists that have been on the show before. Yeah, and it's cool to be part of it. So oh, yeah, we're excited to do it, and let alone doing it right here in lovely Venice Beach, California. Baby. Yes, it's really nice. Before we go, could you um, maybe share one thing that you think about that helps you have a good day? Um, I mean, the fact that I woke up is pretty good. You know, that's a start. You know, I have air in my lungs. Knowing that my family's healthy, that's 
thing that's good. Family and friends. Very important that the world is still intact with no apocalypse. <laughs> nice. Yes. And don't forget if you want to donate or sign up to Radio Venice today and yes. type in candle, we'll make you a candle for like, you know, a donation. A beautiful candle. All right. Have a lovely day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Go to Radio Bye. Venice TV. Bye -bye. Thank you.